Hi everybody, it's Sam and I'm finally back in my craft room after 24 hours away and it was for good reason because I was at Hachanda TV so I know many of you watched me launch my latest collection which is Terrific Towers. I had an amazing time, it's the first time I've been on TV and it was just so nice to see behind the scenes and get to meet the presenters because I'd obviously kind of worked with them with the last two collections but I was never actually there in person so to be up there and just experience it all was just wonderful. So a huge thank you to everybody who tuned in, who sent me lovely messages Messages, whether it was by email, text message, comments on my Facebook page, it was really, really lovely. And to those of you that purchased as well, just a huge thank you. It just means so much to me. It's really nice now for me to be able to do my own launch on YouTube for you all. And um, I just want to go through it in a bit more detail. I've got all the boards here that I used on the show. I've got all of the samples. And just for you to see it all a bit closer up and explain it to you in a bit more detail, I'll link everything below as always. So, I'm going to flip the camera around now so I can go through everything in more detail and yeah, just show you everything that I've made. Okay, so these are the three sizes. So I've got six by six, I have five by seven, and then five by seven landscape. And I'm going to explain that to you with the boards in a moment. If you will recognize this card shape, it was one that I actually designed and shared a couple of years ago. It was really well received, but it was actually one that a lot of people asked me, it would be really nice if there was ever a die. Now I'm in a position where I'm able to create my own dies. This was one of the ones that was on my list. So I'm super pleased with it. It's already been well received on Hachanda and um, I can't wait for more of you to see it. And, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I've been, you know, making all of the samples with it. So I'm going to bring in the board first of all because then you can really see what you're going to get here. So this is your landscape five by seven. So it has this panel in the middle here. But this is for you to have your stamps in the normal kind of landscape way I guess. So if you've got a lot of your own stamps that you want to incorporate they're going to work well on this style along with the six by six. The five by seven is obviously a bit more narrow and it's that portrait so it's going to fit better for those longer vertical stamps that I've got. You also then get your mats and layers. So you get mats and layers for the side pieces here, which are these ones. You get mats and layers for these squares here, and then mats and layers for this one here. Now when you fold in the sides, it will all fold flat into a five by seven size. You also then get a die that will cut you all of these pieces here. So if you just run it through a few times, you will then have little mats to cover all of these and on the sides as well. So it really does, if you've got a plain paper and then you've got lots of mirror card on the top as your mat layer, it looks really cool. You've also then got this dragonfly, you've got a large present, a smaller present, and then the flowers there as well. So that's the 5x7 landscape. Then you have the 5x7, so you can see the difference there, you don't have that middle panel. You just have this long vertical panel and then the two sides. So again, you've got your mats and layers and your mat and layer for the middle one. And then again, that die that will cut these, which will give you all of the mats there. You then get the star um, in the large and the small large and small balloon, large and small flower, and you get the stamen detail there as well. This one will work really well with those vertical stamps. That you know, you can fit the vertical stamps on all of them really, but this one has just got that nice, you know, taller section there for you to be able to really show off those lovely stamps. So that's your five by seven, and then here's your six by six. So with this one, you can again, you can see how that card looks. All the mats and layers, mat and layer for the large area here, mat and layer for the side panels, and then this one, you get the beautiful bow. You get the two sizes of the butterflies and the two sizes there in the hearts. Okay, so then if you want to really start to dress the cards up, I've got a range of edge dies. So these are your excellent edge dies, and you have the 5x7 landscape. I've, it actually says 5x7 landscape on both of them. That's just a typo, but to be honest, they will fit on both, so it doesn't really matter. The 5x7s will fit the 5x7s, and then the 6x6 will fit, obviously, the 6x6. You could use the 6x6 on the 5x7, but you're going to have a gap at the top and the bottom, or depending on how you're going to position that. But this is what you get, and you, there's a lot of dust dies in one of the packs. So for example, this one here, you get 29 dies. They create these great borders and you don't have to just use these on this kind of card. If you are using a card that's seven inches tall, these edges will work really nicely on it and I will be sharing them in future videos. You can see all the stars there. The stars and the balloons are favorites. I really love those ones. The flowers are beautiful as well, but there's something about those two that I really like. And then with the other five by seven, you've got your flowers, your presence and then the dragonfly and the dragonfly again is gorgeous and the presence is brilliant because that also will work well for Christmas so just change your papers and your, your colours there and that looks really cool you could have a Christmas tree in the centre or something and then with the 6x6 six six, you've got a gorgeous bow this one here 
which um, one of the presenters came up with a good idea actually it would work really nice on an easel card as the stopper part so um, again I know some of you have already ordered this and I think that you know I would say give it a go on an easel card because I think it'll look lovely you've got your butterflies and then you've got the heart so again the heart one will work great for valentines as well so let me just bring in the boards and here's those stars okay so that's how it will cut then you can cut your stars in different colours and they will fit perfectly into all of these sections here with a little border. And then you've got your same with your flower and then the balloons there you can see. I even like the shadow detail that we've added there on those ones. Then you've got your 6x6, six six. so you can, again you can see that bow is gorgeous. You've got your butterflies and you've got the hearts. And, I, and we've given you all of the butterflies, it's not just one that you have to die cut, you know, what, six times. You have six butterflies. So you, don't, you just have to pass it through your dye machine once and you have them all there. So that's really handy. And then you've got your 5x7 there, so you can see the presents. The presents have like an embossed, there we go, you can just see that embossed detail on there. You might need to add an extra shim when you run them through because it is quite a deep emboss, but the effect looks wonderful. The dragonfly again, love it, looks really nice layered up with vellum and then like your pattern papers or your plain papers looks really nice. And then you can see the flowers there again. Okay, so that's how the edges look. Then if you want to add panels, now the panels work really well as well on their own. So again, you don't have to add them to the card, but you have these panels here. So you can have the panel and the balloon edges, and you'll see that in all the samples when I show you. It looks really effective. It, it does give you that showstopper feel. So um, they look great. Then on these as well, you have these partial die cut ones, or just one on each one. But can you see, they got a little bit flattened in my suitcase, but if I just kind of lift that up, you can see how that's partially cut. And again, with the star there as well. It's just, there we go, you can just make it out. But that will lift up but it's too flat there and you know trying to pick it out I just you get the idea but that's how your panels look and these also work really well for shaker cards so if you die cut this put a, put a piece of acetate behind there and you can put all your beads and your sequins in behind and it will look really really nice then the six by six again you've got a partially die cut bow here you can see and then the butterfly I can just about still lift that one up there we go looks really pretty and then you've got your hearts again work really well for shakers and then all of the pieces that you have cut out you can use as well so there's again you get a lot of elements with this one and then here's your five by seven landscape so you've got your dragonfly here with the partial die cut dragonfly then you have your presents again you can see that for christmas and then you have your flower and there's a partially die cut one there as well which just needs to be lifted and then you can see the ones that cut out from that so these look lovely it's just slightly smaller ones that you can kind of then just you know attach to the card where you want so that's your panels. Okay, so these are the two stamp sets. And as you can see, they are large sentiments, which is what I wanted. They stamp beautifully, they're photopolymer, and they're just something a bit different. I don't have anything like this in my stash, and I really wanted vertical stamps. So whether you're on the DL slimline card phase or fashion at the moment, because they're just everywhere, these stamps would look brilliant on that shape. But you can see why I wanted these vertical ones for this particular card shape, because they just work really, really well. So you have, whoop, whoop, let's party, or let's is separate and the party separate you've got time to so you can have time to party awesome yay and then you have it's your birthday and then you have happy birthday or happy and birthday separate congratulations and you've got yours so you can have your amazing then you've got you did it and then woohoo so you can have woohoo you did it you can mix them as well you can put it's your birthday woohoo if you want to go for both of them because I think you will use these a lot I use large stamps in a lot of my other card designs so whether you've been you know seen the back catalogues I've got you know loads and loads of tutorials I have large sentiments in the center of a lot of those cards so if you like making those style cards Cards, you'll be able to use these a lot I think they're going to be really really popular and I think you're going to enjoy using them so they're the sentiments stamp sets and they are bold they look great heat embossed they look I want to try and do this one here I mentioned during the demo that it looked really nice to do kind of each line a different color kind of like a rainbow there's just so many different ways you've got the butterfly here which will cut with the butterfly dye it will chop off the antenna but it does cut it exactly that size then you've got the bow you've got the balloon you've got hashtags as well which are really good and I know for the the younger generation I think a hashtag birthday or hashtag party they're going to find that really cool on a card so 
um, yeah, I hope you like them because I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed these ones. And then I wanted an alphabet set. So I wanted again to be able to create my own sayings and words and I wanted to be able to have vertical ones as well. So again, you'll see that in the samples, but this is the chunky alphabet die set. So they're nice and big and they're easy to stick down. So they're not very delicate and thin and you know, things like that can be a bit difficult to work with. These ones are really easy. They look nice layered up and um, they're a nice modern font as well so it was just a kind of staple that I wanted in the collection and this is something you can use across the board to get the numbers there as well. I just think they're going to be a great addition to your stash. So then lastly I have the embossing folders. You have these two here I just thought they were a nice kind of extra just to have so if you are someone that enjoys your embossing folders you have these ones here that will match with some of the cards you can see here the dragonflies and then you also have the bows. The bows is in a five by seven and the dragonfly is in a six by six and they're just really nice again just to add a bit more dimension to the card and um, just a bit more interest I think they're really fun to have so I just wanted to add those in just so that for those people that do really enjoy using their embossing folders you've got that option as well so that is everything in the collection so now I'm going to show you the samples okay so these are the samples that I made using the six by six so straight away you can see that lovely sentiment there and this has got quite a masculine look to it so without adding the edge dies and there's no panel die in this at all. It's literally just the, the main die set and then that stamp set in the middle. And you can see those mats and layers and how they look. So although that's cut on a piece of white cardstock, by adding the mats and layers, it really does define all of that shape. And then you have lots of room on the back. You can just cut your mat and layer again. And you've got plenty of space there to be able to write your message. They all fold flat and then that will fit into your six by six envelope. Then I've got this one here, which uses the chunky alphabet die. So I've just got it's your day. And I've used the mirrored cardstock there and again you can really see that wonderful shape. Then we've got this one which uses the bow. I love it. Just look at that detail. It's so so nice and they are the bow dies as well that I've just put on there and I've used that happy birthday. Then I've got this one here which uses the heart so I won't quite bling with this one just to just to really show what you can do with it. You can see the big hearts. These are the size of the ones that actually come in the set and then these are those edge hearts. And this one's actually been cut on pattern paper. So that's that style. And then another one, again, on some star pattern paper. Glitter on the bows there. And then that yay, you did it. Got another happy birthday there with the butterflies. Beautiful butterflies there. And you can see I've done quite a few layers. There's a few different layers of cardstock and vellum in there. You can see, if I just pull that all out, there we go. Just give you that dimension again heat embossed in the silver and then this one you go girl look at that holographic card it looks fantastic they all stand up as well so they've got a great profile they look really nice and then again the butterflies with the butterfly panel that's how that panel looks put a little put a couple of embellishments there in the center really really nice you can on that one i actually put the mats and layers on every single panel so you can see even on the inside there how that looks. And then there's the hearts again with the heart panel, just so you can see how that looks die cut and that's got a scalloped edge. This was one of the ones I actually done as a demo on the TV. Use that gorgeous mint color against the white there. Looks really, really nice. Then you have the bow again in the silver, so you can just see that detail because it has an embossed detail as well, which you can just make out there. And that's the bow panel. Looks really cool. And then this was another one I done live. It's got a bit squashed, <laughs> but you can still just kind of make out how that one looks with all those butterflies. And then the congratulations. So that's some of the samples that I done with the six by six. Then these are your five by seven portrait. So here's the you're awesome. And I've just repeated that three times. So again, it really stands out and that's using some glitter gold embossing powder. And you can see all of that lovely dimension. Papers I used on this one were actually from the last collection. Let's hear it for the girls. I thought they were really nice with this color card stock. Then you've got this one here, hashtag let's party. And I just used some of the balloon dies there and put some glossy accents on them. Lots of shine to this one. And then this is the star one. It looks really cool and I've used the alphabet dies and stuck them vertically there to spell happy birthday. I think it looks really cool. And then you have yay, it's your birthday. And then in the background is the balloon panel. And I just paper pieced different colors there. And again, all different rainbow colors on the 
actual tower sides there and I just cut the yay out there and it gives you a really cool effect. This one's the flower panel, it looks really nice. It reminds me of candy cane, I think the colours and the way that I've done it, it looks like little candy canes. That looks really good. Then you've got another one here with the balloons, look at those balloons on the edge. I've done this as one of the TV demos, so one side you'll see is shiny with the glossy accents on the balloons and then this side is just matte, just so people can see the difference between the two and again I just cut the yay, use the stars that come with the set and they're the larger balloons, looks really really nice. Another one with the balloons, you'll see I use the paper there from my first collection, so again I just want to incorporate all those bits so you can see how you can use them if you've still got those. Again, the holographic card just looks awesome on this style. Really, really pleased with that one. Then you've got the flower one here. I went very bold with this one. Again, used papers from the first collection. That's the funky flowers. But I think it looks great. It's got such an impact. You'll certainly see that one stand out from all the other cards. And again, just cut the yay out there. It's really easy to cut out. And I used some clear embossing powder on the top of that one. Then I had to show you how you could incorporate your amazing animals. So if you've got Jerry and Horace, you can certainly use them on this style card and I've just inked all the backgrounds. There's no papers, there's no mats and layers or nothing on that. I just created a very simple background and then I added Jerry there and it just says you're not that old. Then I've done this black and white, it's your birthday with the stars. Looks really nice there. Then you have the congratulations with the stars and I've done that with some star pattern paper. The weight of the paper are varied as well. Some of it's like 180 GSM right up to 300 GSM. I think that turned out really nice. This was one I'd done during the live and um, again live TV I was a bit nervous but um, I didn't. it didn't end up embossing all of the bottom of the Y. I must have missed it off so I covered it with a star. So it doesn't quite say party but you get the idea anyway. Time to party. And I didn't have time really to stick all of the panels on there but it still just shows you don't have to. It still does look really nice. But um, again, I just love the star one. I've done this one during the live. Miss you, really sparkly, that one. So again, just wanted to show the alphabet and those gorgeous flowers. Just looks so pretty. And then this one here, which was a favourite of Paola when she'd done the first show with me. And it's the woohoo you did it. It's just got such a nice font. I really do like that one. And again, you can see all those lovely flowers and all that shine. So I just realised I've got a mix there because those are the panel, those two. So that was all of the five by seven. Then those two and then all of these are your panel. So I've done one here for a 50th. Haven't put a sentiment on this one, but just to show you that dragonfly panel in the middle there. And then you've got the whoop whoop with the presents. Love the presents. But can you imagine if they're in like Christmas colours in a Christmas tree in the middle here or a Christmas tree stamped there and a nice Christmas message? I think it would look brilliant. And then this one here, as you can see the presents, how they look. Again, no sentiment on that one, but just wanted to show off all the panels. This one's you've got 21st, it's your birthday, lots of glitter, very pink. And I've just kept the sides plain, but of course you can add your edges. And you've got party time. I've done this one, which again is using pattern paper. Yay, it's your birthday, and that's using the flowers. This one is a favourite and lots of people liked it in the studio. It's just the dragonflies, they're so different and against that lovely kind of like burgundy colour, wine colour background I guess and it's just beautiful. I've used that glitter cardstock there and the rose gold and then I've done the yay and I've done the it's your birthday separate and kind of just stuck it in the corner there. Then you've got another one, so yay using the alphabet, chunky alphabet and some glossy accents. Again with the presents, and that's papers from the party paper pad. Really, really nice. And then I've done the dragonflies again with this well done card. Again, using pattern paper. Got room on the back on all of them to be able to write your message. And then another one there with the party time. And then I've got these really cool looking cards. So this is using the dies but this is using them in a different way. So this is two stuck together and I'm going to be doing tutorials on this. But if you look inside, how cool is this? And it has such a great look. And again, it will fold flat, so you can fold it like so and it will fit into an envelope or you can have it flat like that into a larger envelope. And I think I did fold it another way as well. Can't remember, but again, I'm sure. No, it was that way. Yeah, that way. 
um, it looks brilliant and again you can see how I've used the vertical stamps there so awesome and congratulations that makes a really nice card and you've got space on the back obviously I've just popped those all in so I was playing around with it but you can see how that one looks and then I've done it in the 5x7 look how cool that looks it's just got such an awesome shape everybody will love this when you if you gave it to them because the presenters were looking at it they were like how have you done that that looks so cool and it's just using two of the die cuts together so this one's got the whoop whoop so again you can use that vertically although it's you know it's stamped to be in that parallel orientation you can have it vertically and i'll just use some of the stars and then you can also do this kind of style so if you like a card that opens and closes i've used the embossing folder there i haven't really decorated too much it was just because it was displayed open but you can have it like this if you just add a score line through the center you can turn them into pop-up cards again i've used the happy birthday in that vertical orientation and then i've done it here with the panel and with the panel style that five by seven landscape one sorry it will give you all of these so you can have again in my case i've done the awesome across all of those panels I just think it looks great so there's you know I want you to be able to create lots of different cards with that one you know kind of die set and I've got some more ideas as well which I'll be sharing over the coming weeks but these I think are pretty spectacular but yeah so look out for these ones on the channel because they will be coming very soon so that is my latest collection I have so many samples I have thoroughly enjoyed making these because I've done all of these myself they've all been photographed they will all be on the craft stash website under all of the products you'll be able to see them there as well and like I said I will be doing tutorials on lots of these over the coming weeks so thank you again for watching and I'll be back with lots of tutorials very soon bye